That didn't take us long at all. Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I leave a bad review? I'll wait till I show Steven and Corey. Oh. Have you ever been that unlucky? Holy cow. It's gonna be dangerous. Oh, those are cool. Spence build up. <laughs> Wamba! Use your head. That's what they gave it to you for. All right. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and I don't film things because they happen fast. So here's what's happening fast. I got the hole drilled. I got clevis, my spacer, so it don't flop around. Stuff I found out of the uh, small parts drawer. I was trying to think there, a junk drawer I was gonna call it. Um, so the 3 8 time joints are fine thread. I actually had some fine thread bolts laying around. This bracket is going to bolt to the top of the transmission. Yes, I said that correctly. This is going to bolt to the transmission. And then I'll have a hole in it right there and it'll mount the throttle cable to the transmission, the throttle bracket. And then I'll drill my hole. Uh, I have to hold the phone. I don't have a tripod. I had a lot of tripods now I don't have any. I'm gonna weld these together. All right, we got her welded. This sits on top of transmission, two bolts. Now we'll drill a hole right through that and we will be able to mount our pedal to that. Can't wait till my metal punch gets here. All righty. Man, that didn't take long at all. I've only been working at this for a few minutes. All right. So this will go to the carburetor. This will go inside. So we'll just have to drill a hole in the firewall for that. This is gonna go on the skinny side of our little pickaxe here. So let's go ahead and drill that hole. While we're letting that cool down, it's all rocket science, measure everything. Got a little C-clip on here. We got to get out without throwing it all the way across the garage. Okay. Now, we're going to have to take this apart so we can take it all the way apart. All right. So, to get it through the firewall, you got to find the smallest part and then tell yourself, how am I going to get that through there? Well, we're going to have to take all this off. Go ahead and take this end off. All right. Now you just want to drill a hole in the firewall that size, feed it all back through. Sounds like it's raining out. Always raining. Hole ain't big enough. Alright. So, when you give it gas, it'll pull on it. Now we got a pivot point. So, and it's still hot. You gotta get it just right. Gotta go to the vise. All right, a few minutes ago, I had no idea. This will sit on top of the transmission. This will go in there like this. Let's put it together. Get our little spacer in there so we're not just slopping around. All right, so what's the problem is I don't like how it's, I don't like how it's doing that. It would just hang there, but I don't like how it's doing that. So I'm gonna add a bracket right here to it. I already got this bracket right here. We'll just make the bolt a little longer. Here's what I got. A little simple solution. This will be what you see in the car. Plenty of room for your foot. Look how smooth that works. I'm gonna go put a few welds on this and we should be able to put it in the car. All right, here we are. Look at that. Hmm. Wamba! 
You gotta think outside the box, boys. That's what I know. All right, let's drill a little hole here. Now, stick this through the hole. Pretty slick, if you ask me. All right, here we got our cable coming through. Um, we probably got the wrong bracket for this, but we'll make it work. Let me get a couple washers. We could have went a little shorter on this. It's telling me to cut it. When it's pulling out like that, it's saying, cut me. Cut me, you're doing it wrong. Getting these barbs tucked in there is gonna be the problem. All right, we got it shortened. Looks a lot better that way. Let's make sure the throttle cable goes through it. Yep, no problems. Threader coupler back on. There he is, a little butcher on. Hey, Jim. Hey, Sam. Come over here and check this creation I just built. Oh, watch it in this hole. Let me see. Ooh, nice. Bolt it to the transmission for extra danger. One. My foot fit right there. Now I got all this room for other pedals and stuff. Oh. See how I did that? Now, you definitely want to carry this in your toolbox because this little thing will fail. Trust me, it will. I had one fail in a tug of truck. I was watching the sleeper dude and he had one fail. Don't strip out the Allen. See if it works. Like a charm. Perfect. It's in the details. If you're not, if you're already driving yours, there's more you could be doing. I'm sorry, but it's a build off. It's not a show off. It's a build off. It's to see what you can build in the amount of time for the amount of money. It ain't a race to see who can get it done fastest. So keep working. Don't stop till the very end. Peace and grease. Well, 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 what do we have here? Well, this is a uh, something I seen a long time ago. And when I seen it, I thought it was too good to be true. And uh, it took me this long to get me one. I guess that's what it is. Oh, it's a box. A box inside a box? Yeah. How exciting. It's another box. That's necessary in this world to have multiple boxes. It's heavy it is? What I think yeah. It is. Gotcha. I hope it is what you think I mean, it is. But, uh, I don't know what else I could have ordered. I don't know. You're, you get wild on that Prime. Optimus. It's got its own attache case. Golly. You use that word much? I do not. It, I mean, it's 50 pounds. It's 40 it's, pounds. Yeah. Maybe 35. That's going to blow some minds. I am. If they haven't so, already been blown. I'm real excited for you over this. I'm actually so excited for you over this that I thought about it today and wanted to ask you if it had gotten here yet. It'll look good up here on my clean counter. Yes. This is a, uh, hold on. This is a, this is a, I can't even pronounce that. El Zico. It ain't no Milwaukee. It's made right there. But, I'm not a hater, because, uh, well, if coronavirus comes flashing out at me when I open it. <laughs> now, it, now, see, it's already, there's been some falling apart. I'll have to get to know it. I ain't sure where all these go. I and am. what matches. So excited for you. We're getting ready. Hey, Scribers. Hey, Scribers. Hey. Oh, you're on another rock oh, kick today, oh. eh? Let's see. Love it. Put it over there in your pile. We're opening the new uh, 
Have you, you, you haven't even said what it is yet. It's a hole puncher. You didn't tell anybody yet. I didn't want to say I it. I had to get it open. It was suspense build up. <laughs> it's heavy, man. Pull that bag off there, Sammy. This right here is a Azuki. Golly. That was so serious. <clears throat> I got to read up on this. Is that how you hold it? Well, I don't know. I just said I read <laughs> up on it. How would I know? No, that's not how you hold it. You hold the plastic one. Okay. So these are... What I'm seeing is a... All right, it's already got one loaded up. Yeah. That's a two... That's These are metric, so that's the one thing. Like, I'll have to figure out what size dies are which. Yeah. And, and here's where they get you. They sell all different dies. Yeah. Add-ons. Well, yeah. So, uh, apparently that back hole will match like that. That back hole will match that. That back hole will match that. That back hole will match that. I figured that out that quick. So fast. I feel like they're wanting you to start with the heavy duty. Yeah, well. Here's a bracket that I'll probably mount it to. Definitely. But I can't. This is too thick to drill into. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. What do you do? Huh? How do you work it? <laughs> well, the instructions are right there. You just go start punching holes like crazy. I, I can't wait about how much faster this makes your life. I, okay, so I don't ever read reviews, and I went on reviews because there's a thousand different options available in anything you buy. What's this guy? Will they give you that? Some thing? kind of oil, and that's pitted, that's the brace of oil. It's probably so it when it don't get hot. I don't Come over hot. here! Come over here! He's leaving. Get over here! I said. Let's go ahead and uh, put our base on. Or else, I, if because I just got a thought. What? If I don't put the base on, it'll fall over and break. Oh and then whenever gosh! Whenever you get thoughts like that, it's gonna happen. It's a gotta, premonition. You gotta go through with your ideas. Put your rock over here with your collection, so you don't lose it. So they got this little bracket. There are two cords. Let's show it to the subscribers. Well, we're doing something else right now. We'll show it in a minute. I'll hold them up here, okay? I'm not holding. Right Apparently, we got geologists yeah, in the family. Yeah, I know. I like rocks, too. I'm with him on that. So you can set it at angles oh, or whatever, nice. I guess. I don't know. I'm learning. Yeah. We're getting ready All right, to show me. Oh, those are cool. Those are so cool. They love it. They appreciate it. Thank you. You can take them back out if you want. Well, I don't need them. He's keeping them there. He's collecting them there. But I ain't collecting them. Well, he'll, you need to give him a bag. I don't, I don't have enough room to collect nothing. This thing's going to be in the way. They ain't got the holes lining up good. I can tell you that much already. Should I leave a bad review? No. Should I go and let's talk local and raise Hank? Hank? There, we get it lined up, boys. That's the jaws of life. Is how it's heavy. I'm scared to stand so close because I don't want it to fall on my toe. Staying. Police. Is that who it was? Don't stand so close yeah. to me. Yeah. This is kicking my butt trying to get this lined up. Is something wrong with the hole? Let me try. Well, I don't know, bro. Yeah. Something ain't right with the lineups. Their hole ain't good. I ain't never gonna let a girl try to outthread me. I don't remember what it was I was trying to fix. It might have been when I was building furniture, 800 pieces of furniture. But I tried real hard on that one and got mad and you went right over and did it. What was it? Dresser. I don't know. I'm a toolsmith. Oh. Half the battle's using the tools. Oh, oh, wait. I just that just reminded me. Seeing you do this. Our friends, viewers, we've never met them, but they watch us, and we're so thankful that they thought of us. It was uh, Brian and Nikki Beatty, I think is their last name. Beatty. Uh, they sent, they sent us this 
special surprise for Tim in the mail since he watches or he drops everything and they watch him pick it up all the time. Whoa. You just. I was just seeing what would happen. I want to see Dan. Finish your I call wasn't. out. I've just seen what's happening. As soon as you let down. off, it goes back up. Oh, that's our first hole punch, huh? Whoa. Wow, dude. Are you so thrilled? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, see? There's the trick. That's crazy. That's wow. awesome. Heck yeah. That was... And you get sweet gravel for your flower bed. <laughs> you could make a whole flower, rusty flower bed. Wow. Dude. That is awesome. Yes, this is your... Okay, I get it now. I use hydraulic... It's just a hydraulic punch out, which we use in electric. And this will give you more power. Holy cow. Dude. Walk up and do that. That's crazy. That that would cost you a twenty nine dollar drill bit, and yeah. you would doll it. Yeah. Great wow, investment. So, I, so uh, great investment. I smoked it a little bit, but it'll be all right. And it was only uh, there's different sizes, and I bought the middle of the road size, so it uh, was like two hundred fifty dollars, I think. Totally worth it. Yep. I'm a fan. Awesome. Now that I almost got Dick Banjo done. Yeah. But, um, like. That's huge. I'll build those brackets and then my, like you build your bracket, stick it in there, mark it, kapoom. Well, yeah. It. That's amazing. That's little, a huge time saver. Little, big tool for the little guy. That's awesome. And it comes with all these dies. So happy for you. Uh, I'll take care of it and actually uh, put it up when I'm done and use it. Well, I mean, it kind of sucks just to get it all out, you know, one of them things. Well. You know what I mean? But just keep it in a handy place. And, uh, man. Congratulations. I was, I was telling Steven about it. Saw Customs, and he was, I don't know if he'd really, he said, well, it'd be hard to get in some places, but. I was like, it's kind of more tabletop, but you could get that. You could reach that down there and do a hole with it. It's not Grandpa. He gone. Grandpa left for the day. All right, well. All right. All right, on to the next thing. I'm happy for you. That's awesome. This is, uh, are you still filming? Yeah. Probably just screw this down to the workbench. I'll find a nice, I'll clean a place off. Screw this down. And then if you do need to take it off, just take these two screws out. Oh, yeah. And it'll be easy to move. Because if it falls off here, it's heavy. If it falls, oh, yeah. it's going to snap. Yeah, it'll break. It says it right there. It says cherish your tool right in the, mm -hmm. right in the video. They're not wrong because you'll have to buy another one because now you know how well so it works. So I didn't have enough pressure when it smoked it. It would have put it would have punched through that if I'd known what I was doing. Yeah. But look, that makes perfect holes. Perfect. And in a second, dude. Yeah, I mean that's a three-quarter inch hole. That's so awesome. The dies are all, the dies are all uh, yin yang, whatever. Yin that's all is. right. But uh, that's a three-quarter inch hole, all day long. So you can like, like, I'm telling you what, you try to drill a hole for that. Boom. Boom. That's awesome. Seconds. That's so awesome. Seconds. Drill bit, a quarter inch steel, man. And here's something that some of you guys may not understand. If you're drilling a hole and you take a smaller drill bit and drill the hole first, and then you take a drill and go through, you take a bigger drill bit, you you destroy that bigger drill bit as soon as you stick it in there. Because your tip is your your tip out is your cutting edge. Right. Well, if you have a half inch hole and you stick a three quarter bit down there, all your cutting edge is doing nothing but just dancing around. There's no center point. Mm -hmm. I know it sucks, but buy yourself a uh, an Ul Zico. This is the best Ul Zico I've ever had. <laughs> but no more. I this I'd say something like this if I it will last forever. Mm -hmm. If you take care of it and you're just doing little stuff like this. Yeah. 
That's awesome. I'll wait till I show Stephen and Corey. Oh yeah. About this and everybody else. I'll make you a little short real quick and you can send it to them. I'm gonna start selling the punch outs. Okay. We got uh, Wizard Voss type weather going on. Right I don't here. know what is going on. <coughs> it's Tuesday and he's tearing the roof off. Take it back off. I shouldn't have put so many screws in it. I guess. Hold on, I, didn't know I got. I was gonna take it back off, but we need to. I got a box for your screws. Hold on. Yeah, I gotta mock it up about a hundred times before you get get it built. We're taking the roof off so that we can line it and put some stuff on there to try to keep it. We don't want the sweat and drip on us. Right, we're well, trying to keep it as dry inside as possible. And I tried to buy some rubber and I didn't see any rubber, so I bought a cheap tarp, heavy duty tarp. It was like 20 bucks. Thankfully, uh, the roof's are in, so we'll know how to put it right back on. Yeah. And I never finished underneath here, so I gotta, I gotta get under there and do some stuff. A lot of this was built as the conception was coming. Yeah. Is that the word? As the inspiration hit. Stand them up somewhere. Don't get cut. Which is dumb because you're like, I know that, but it even when somebody tells you, they'll slice you. I think I had it off. I had it off twice already. But it's got to be what I call hurricane strength. So, because it's going to be towed, it's either going to drive or be towed down the highway. So, uh, it's got to be. And you know me, I don't slow down for nobody. So it's got to be at least able to go 70 mile an hour. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. For a while. Yeah. Are you filming? Just wondering what you're doing. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Okay. A lot of work. But it would never got done. It would have never got started. There's been times where I've wanted to give throw in the towel. Build offs far away, driving. There's all kinds of competition, but I just stuck with it. We're gonna take the best thing we can build. Let me rephrase that. This isn't the best thing we could build, but given the budget and the rules, it's the best thing we could build. I think. Yeah. I really love it. It's turned into more than just a build off car to me. Like it, it's not going to be for sale. It's mine. It's forever mine. Just think, we had no idea what we were going to do with this cab. No clue what we were going to do with it. We just got it. It needed rescued. No, Cleveland Browns wasn't going to do nothing with it. Hell no. He can watch me build it. On TV. Never enough room in this garage. No. Nope. I say, uh, oh, if I ever strike it big, I'm, I'll still work in this garage, but yeah, I don't know. If you can improve yourself, do it. But we got. I want to keep doing mechanic work, but this is part of the process too, huh? Yeah, major part. Major. Why don't I put some screws in? I'm just going to take it off. As long as you're up the ladder, do them as many as you can. People getting their first look at the skeleton. Yeah, that's Don't true. Don't look at me. 
you can burn a lot of money in hardware. Every screw is a different color because it's screws I've had left over from various projects. Something rare you'll never see. It's me working in open toed shoes. It's hot. It is so hot. Hot and muggy. That guy that came to visit us couldn't hardly handle the humidity. I don't even think it was humid when he was. I didn't either. He was crying the blues. Look how wet my shirt is. I wear about 10 shirts a day, don't I? Yeah. You've seen how many laundry detergents I go through, babe. What that, what's that take? It's up to about 10 minutes just to strip it. I knew it wouldn't take long. Sometimes jobs that, yeah, that one screw in. I could have got that before I got up. Sometimes jobs that you want to take forever on ain't that bad. That's always how it is. Like I never had that top piece screwed on, just one or two screws. some of the stuff you know you gotta watch the budget everybody else if you don't watch it everybody else is watching it for you you know oh yeah um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put these on there which side goes up we'll put I guess it don't matter crazy but we're going to do a, a little bit you ever use a chalk line oh yeah Oh, yeah, she said. I yeah. wasn't expecting such a quick oh, yeah. My dad used them all the time. Then what? He was a body man, dude. He was always cutting stuff. And he built everything. He was always building shit. He built the most massive deck I've ever seen on his house. Like, fancy. Different directions. Little standing areas around trees. He, he did. Yeah, he could build anything. pieces inside for what anywhere I can you know what I mean yeah so there's uh I'm gonna do that but I can't yeah. finish it I'm just kind of showing because I need to cut boards and it's I got a bunch a whole bunch of work to do up here you have a lot of stuff to do up there yeah. as in what board cutting oh okay putting boards in putting the floor in this oh there. yeah okay that's what you're doing all right, well. Yeah, because we might as well use the space. Yeah, I agree. We'll It'll make it completely blocked off. I might have a gas can up there, a gas tank. Yeah. People probably think that's dangerous, but where are you going to put it? Anywhere you put your gas tank is going to be dangerous. You could get hit and rammed. Like, mm -hmm. hard motorcycle riders sit on sit on their gas tank. It's true. Uh, I just think of all these reasons because people will try to nitpick you, you know? It's fine. I don't care. Bring it on. Nitpick. I'll just say thank you. There's really no difference in having your gas tank above you than anything else. It just make putting gas in it kind of hard. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll have to carry a ladder, huh? <laughs> 
Well, Dick should have a ladder anyway. Yeah, I'm probably make its own little ladder. Yeah. Put it on the roof. Yeah. Strap it down. Just yeah. To something like that. But... All right. Cool. All right. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys in a little while. We're infested with rabbits, you guys. So I'm not even playing. Every time we look out here, there's more and more and more of them. He's going to take off in a second. Ooh, there go. <laughs> They're going to be mad when we get rid of that brush pile. We got to cut all that wood. I'm pretty sure I spent all that time replacing that radio and that thing, and then it, it don't even work. I don't know what's going on, dude. I, I guess both radios are bad. The one that I had and the one that I bought. Have you ever been that unlucky? I don't think so. I think there's probably just something else wrong. I don't know, man. There's so much work. You gotta be prepared, I guess, on these build-offs. Another thing I'm getting ready to, I gotta go back and bend over and pick that up. <laughs> And I didn't bring a tape measure, so I gotta go back in there and get a tape measure. I gotta bend over again and pick that up. I need to get you one of them grabbers like old men have. Oh yeah, I got time to carry that around. <laughs> I know a guy named Ben over. Yeah. Fifty four. Alright. Another bad problem we got ready to do, we're getting ready to do, is mount up those uh, new tires I bought. Yeah. We need blocks cut for those. To put them in and stick them out here, let them swell. 13, 26, plus 13 would be, that'd be close enough. So, this is the span of our attic. That chops all over there, but it ain't worth going getting. Yeah. Trade me sides. Look, it's baby toad season right now. Dude, they're so cute. I've found so many of they're them. Everywhere. Dude, I know. We're invested with these little cuties too. They're so oh. cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. Show you what I mean on them blocks because I gotta get on this or I keep forgetting. ET phone home. We can't even do find a phone or nothing because it's been so long. You know it's dead wherever it's at. It don't have no service on it. These tires are stacked up. They've never been on a rim. And I always put tires on wider rims than you're supposed to. Yep. See what we're doing here? I do. We're training the rims. Stretching our owl a little. Yeah. Now that worked out perfect. That did. Get him out here so he can soak up that Jamie Johnson. Huh? You don't know? You don't know what song I'm talking no. about? No! That morning sun made its way. You never heard that? No, I don't know it. It's called something else. He says that morning sun made its way through the window of my Chevrolet. I went to a Jamie Johnson concert and it wasn't an all great experience. <laughs> One of the reasons why the guy in front of me yelled the whole concert and this ain't even the name of the song. And I know the name of the song. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's not Morning Sun. 
And this guy drunk yelled, Play Morning Sun! The whole concert. Love it. And that was like the popular song at the time. So he was going to play it towards the end, you know? Yeah. And you knew he was going to play it. Yeah. But that guy wouldn't shut the heck up. I measured measured a couple areas, so we'll we'll repeat that strategy on a few boards. I only need uh, three more of those because we're only mounting two. When I mount the back tires on there, the back rims are only eight inches wide, so they go right on. No fireworks needed. I don't know. Al Blades, he's on YouTube. He'll go cut junky yards for free. Oh, he's that got, guy, yeah. He's got so many subscribers that he don't need paid to work. He has a Patreon, yeah. People send him money to help him do that for people because he does it. All right. Knock that out. Ta-da. Can't finish the roof until I finish the loft or else I'll have to climb in and out every single time. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? I hear ya. Here's the problem with following up yourself on this. I think I need this. Rock collection gets lost. Rock collection. I want to use this. Babe, I'm, I'm using the gift that they sent you before you do. You are. Thanks, Brian and Nikki. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Watching that old man farm on uh, Instagram, huh? Yeah. The old guy. All right, we're back on Dick Banjo. It's Tuesday, sometime in July. This is what we got done last night. Last night we took it all off both sides, put some uh, cheap pink insulation on there. You can see it sticking through the edge. And then I took a cheap tarp and put over it just because there's some holes in the metal, which I also have some black tar and I'll, I'll put on those holes. We're just trying to keep the inside from tripping and getting ruined. So uh, that's what we're doing. That's what I did last night. You can see the tarp kicking out the back. So here's the other side. We're gonna get some rain. Look at that cloud. It rains every few hours now. So you can see this side is bare. Pushed it down the garage so I can try to get some metal in here before it rains. So let's see what we can do. All right, hopefully I don't get struck by lightning. You see what's going on, Garth Brooks. The thunder rolls behind me, so. 
Let's see what we can do. It's Ohio. You never get rained out. You just got to stick around and wait. This barn metal has the way it overlaps. So it's going to be going into the wind. So we want to put it down from the back. And then we'll, the other, we start from the back. We put another piece on. It'll overlap the seam and it'll make it as strong as it can be. overlapping lip there it'll go over top of that and that'll help keep that side from coming up everything's crooked leaving these screws out because I'm going to make an L piece of trim out of gunner there and you won't see any of this. That's why it looks, looks like that. What's going on everybody? We're back working on this uh, 87 K10 of Tim Crosley's. It's a hot one out here today. Muggy, hot, I love it. Got a new, uh, we were called Summit, got a new uh, gas tank, new sending unit, come with a new uh, O-ring and lock ring for the top. Uh, the old straps we're reusing, but I was able to, uh, I have some rubberized tape that I'm putting around the tank uh, because the stuff that's on the original straps was like some kind of cardboard rubber and uh, it just deteriorated as soon as you touched it so that's what we're doing just getting it ready this tank's a little bigger that was a very small tank so this tank's a little bigger it should fit in there square bodies are pretty much universal it may just move where the brackets go but the holes should be in the frame um but i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up get the other strap on there and uh keep on moving all right we got that done got the straps on She's ready to go. This is the front under the floor of the truck. This is the back, obviously. And uh, here we got ordered, uh, Tim wanted me to get 3 8 fuel injected line, the good stuff. Got the cords in it. So we got 25 foot of that. And here we got a new sending unit. Let's open that baby up. All right, we got our sending unit. Looks to be the right one. Should uh, fit down in there just right. We ordered it from Summit. We got a Dorman tank and a Dorman sending unit. It says made in Taiwan, for whatever that's worth. But uh, so this will go, you want your, so you got three eighths feed, then a return, and then a vent. Just a straight vent. And this one's got a return with a check valve on it. So if you flip, It'll all just run out of this other one. So don't worry about that. No O-ring on this because it's on top. So get that down in there. And there's a place right here. It only goes in one way. It only goes in one way right there. So I'm gonna put the camera down, get a shirt on and get busy. All right, I got a shirt. Uh, in the last video, I said the O-ring goes on top. I was wrong, I was delirious. I've since cooled down and came to my senses. The O-ring goes on bottom, then your sending unit, then your locking ring. Get that started. It's got three, three areas it needs to be under. And then just tap it into place, make sure it goes in even. Move around. I like to move around just to keep it centered. We're almost there. It has little indentions that lock in. All right, that's that. It appears I'm running short on clamps, so if these don't work, I ain't sure what to do. I'm gonna have to take a break. Give it a little spitty. I ain't even gonna say it. They make these clamps either too small or too big, you know? That's what we're battling. I'm gonna have to go stop and find 
a better clamp. I can pause. All right, got the right clamp. Probably won't even run a return, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. At least it'll be sticking through the frame rail if we do need it. This stuff's hard to get to once it's in the truck. All right, here's your ground for your gauge and here's your hot for your gauge, which is actually ground, I think. Pretty sure that's how those work. They just ground out. That's a switch in there. It sends ohms to your gauge. All right. Let's lift her up and see if we've done any good work or not. All right, there's another set of holes up in there, so we'll see what happens, I guess. I hate getting under these lifts. They always seem sketchy. These old fuel lines off. So this originally was a fuel injected truck. I think somebody's already been in here and done this once before. I didn't even look, but I didn't have to unhook no fuel pump. So we know that that's not working like it was. I don't know. We will see. That's in the way. Let's give her a test. to you for all right so the tank is bigger and i hurt my back so there's a strap up in there that held the uh filler neck and the vent to the bottom of the bed hopefully that's all that was sticking let's try her again there's no way Oh, I see what I did. I see what I did. That's in the wrong hole. That's why she's not lining up. See like it went in too easy. Now yeah, that should fix it. Try it again. There we go. There. I don't know if you can see it up in here. So these big holes is where your big bolt for your strap comes through. It's just a clearance hole for the strap to come through. It's kind of weird. I don't think you could even change the gas tank without taking the brackets off. So I never really understood that. But that's where our smaller tank was and we just used the same strap moved it over square bodies are pretty modular modular in the fact that they interchange they move around things work over here that worked over there kind of like a modular home you move it to where it best suits you so it's kind of how square body is now the only thing we'll have to do is uh we'll have to modify the filler neck to come straight in but really that's just a short piece of hose. We'll cut it down. It'll go right in. Whoever gets this truck will be glad that it had a little bit bigger, little bit bigger uh, setup. So we need to loosen it a little bit actually through that hole. 
once we get it in place, we'll tighten that back up. These trucks are great tools to work to learn how to work on stuff. And that's how you put a gas tank in a square body Chevy in 16 minutes. So the only thing I forgot is to hook up the ground. Let's run that through this hole. Let's do that while we're right here. We already got the tools out. Let's put that right in this strap hole right here. All right. I don't even see a wire for the gauge, but we'll find it. Whoa, take a ride. Blew my back out for no reason. All right, we got a gas tank fuel line in. Just took a little bit, about a half hour. I think too bad. Actually, four hours if you're the guy uh, paying for the job. So, we'll catch you here in a minute. Here we are. Welcome back. We I got never left. <laughs> no, we never left. It's actually Friday morning, so you're going to see this tonight. That's how on the ball we are. <laughs> We've got some exciting news for you guys. Tell them what we got here. Uh, well, you'll see this truck in this video as a customer truck, Tim Crosley. I changed the motor in the yellow truck for him a while back. Good customer, good friend. He brought this truck over for us to work on. Plans changed a little bit. Uh, I just couldn't let it leave. Uh, Black 87 from uh, out west, it's not leaving. It's staying. This will become what we're gonna probably call Wyatt's truck. My son's Wyatt. He's 15. He's not on camera a lot, but you'll probably see more of him. This is a this is a father and son moving forward project. Uh, so it's we'll a motivator. That's what this is. We want him to embrace being a pre-driver and work on what he's gonna drive around when he's with us. And this won't be his daily. We've we've discussed that, but. Uh, it will be definitely a fun thing for him to learn to drive on and to hopefully learn to work on yeah. trucks and he hasn't really experienced that yet so maybe it'll be something that interests him and that's what we want is to find something that interests him yeah so uh when i was a kid my grandparents were uh i worked here some i didn't make enough money but i was 15 and this guy had a 72 El camino man and it had stripes and it had rallies and i needed that and I begged and begged and begged, and I had a little bit of my own money, and Grandma ponied up the money, man. She helped me buy that car, and I mowed grass for years for free. I didn't get paid, and that was fine with me. And uh, everybody's got to start. We showed you a few videos ago where I got my first square. Well, it wasn't my first one, but it was my first nice one. And uh, so it's always cool to get going, yeah. you know. And this uh, is also... Uh, something that we're hopeful that grandpa gets involved with so that it's kind of a generational project yeah. so we hope that everybody gets to come down here and do a little tinkering on on the new c10 yeah so, so we're excited we... for that we wanted to share that with you guys i brought this weird little list tim's looking at me over because i always forget people's names we had three people that gave us denim for the rat rod build and i wanted to thank you guys for that i did open everything on my channel in my video so you'll see that on there if you want to see that jenny junkin uh matt hyde from arkansas sent us some den denim so thank you matt john parsons from tennessee sent us a big box thank you so much for that cody kirby stopped by and dropped us off antiques and some denim so thank you cody for that I know we already thanked him, but again, thank you, Nikki and Brian Beatty, for the gift that you sent from Amazon. We're going to use the heck out of it, and we appreciate it so much. So if we got the roof on now, yep. we can start uh, decorating and finishing stuff up. I'm going to get some foam today to uh, start working on seat covers for those seats. So I need to go get a little bit more steel and finish up a few little welding projects inside because we don't want to weld when we got all the flammables in there. That's right. But we're moving along. It seems like we're running out of time, but we're making big chunks, taking big chunks out of it. Yep. Uh, I'm always last minute. That's all right. I thrive under pressure. I mean, like, I really show up under pressure. Like, yeah. 
I'm not really worried about it. That's this why I don't worry about it, because I already know him, and I know the dynamic, and I know how it goes, and he's going to stress out, and he's going to worry, and he's going to say it a hundred times, and it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Come September, we'll load it up, and we'll head north, and yep. uh, that's the facts of life. We're excited. If I got to stay up seven days straight, work 24 hours a day, I'll do it. Yeah, that's where we're at with it, so it is not even a question of if it's going to happen or not. It will happen. When you start to eat, sleep, and think what your, your final goal is... It's only then when you'll start achieving it. You won't. True. You can't half-ass. You got to go all in. Yep. I'm all in, man. Like there's other things sitting around here not getting done. This was a customer's truck. I'm stressing out about that because I needed to have that back to him. Two weeks from today is when his show, Midwest Truck Nationals, is, and uh, I told him I'd bring this back to him there. So I still would like to try maybe to get it. I still haven't even tried to get it running. We've got a lot to do. We're going to share with you guys on this one, especially now that it's going to be around. So yep. it's a lot, a lot more content for us too. So we're excited for that. Yep. If you haven't yet, you can join our membership program for $5.99 a month. You get early access to all of our videos, uh, various posts, highlighted comments in our live chat, um, extra behind the scenes stuff that you don't see in our regular videos. So there's all kinds of little fun stuff and I'm sure we'll continue to add membership benefits but that is going to help us to continue to work on projects buy new equipment it just helps to grow the channel and support what we're trying to do so if you got an extra 5.99 a month it would be amazing if you shared that with us to help us continue to grow that's not even uh, as much as a big mac at it's McDonald's. true it's and, true and uh you get you get 30 days more if you love us help us <laughs> so besides that if you're our, a subscriber by October 31st, we're giving away a free winch. All you have to do is subscribe, no purchase necessary. Make sure you're a subscriber October 31st and you could possibly win this beautiful winch. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Yeah. Because someone's going to win $300 value. Right. If Period. you don't want the winch, we're going to give you the value of the winch. Yeah. So either way who couldn't use a winch or three hundred dollars you know for free you don't even have to buy anything yep um what else do we got we're going to be in cave city next weekend so this weekend we're going to be knocking out the trophy we got to build getting the tires on the c50 so all of that you'll see next week um and we leave next friday yeah so. we're giving away the best truck award we, we covered that on our live last night uh i actually i'm going to build the award i told todd i'd have it done by sunday evening give him time to start showing it off um, we're going to give that to the best truck there and we hope to see, we hope that's a hard decision because we want to see lots of trucks there. Uh, he had over 250 last year. We're trying to help him push that to where 500 would be nice Yeah. because Todd's a good friend of ours. And it's a great show and, and it's uh, a great time. So Corey Wheat Customs is always there. Resurrected Garage was there last year. I haven't, we haven't talked to them. They're, they're there sometimes. Last I heard, half was going. Uh, it's fun telling who all will be there. Friend of ours, Tim Davis, and his girl oh, yeah. is going. They're coming down. We'll see exciting. them down. Uh, so it's uh, it's just a big big gathering, shop yeah. truck gathering. So uh, yeah. let's do it. Let's, let's do let's, it let's, for sure. Let's make a big turnout. It's just a one day event. Uh, beautiful countryside, beautiful cruising. Last year we did some swimming, some eating, some laughing, some driving. I want to do some more sightseeing this year. We're going to have a little more time to be there and enjoy ourselves because we're not going to be rushed to get home on Sunday. So We'll be down Friday. We got down Friday last year late, and it was late. We were wore out because we took, it the, was midnight. We took uh, the back way, which took us seven or eight hours to get there. So uh, this year we'll be down there on Friday. We hope to see see everyone. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you've caught up on this yet, but I quit my job. Tim's my boss now. I started my own YouTube channel, so get over there and subscribe to Jenny Junkin. It's just going to be daily stuff of life around here outside the barn and different adventures we go on and projects and things that I do. So, Jenny Junkin on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. No reason having a job when you only work weekends when we do all of our fun stuff on the weekends. And there's plenty of work to do here. <laughs> Jobs. We, we don't, I ain't had a boss in 16 years. I ain't had one in a couple. Well, I got a new one I've yeah. had for two weeks. But We're I, free range chickens <laughs> around here. We do what we want. It's been a lot of fun already, and I'm enjoying it. So I'm thankful for 
the chance to get to do it and we're going to give you guys some better content because of it i can film more we can edit more it'll just be good all around in general i think so should get our first look at the van here soon oh. i can't quit talking about the van i haven't oh, even seen it yet i'm dying to see the van hopefully, Todd chad, hopefully chad took the day off and just goes nuts i know it i wish listen I'm, tim crosley i know you're watching this I really wish the van was done so I could drive the van to your show, even though you don't consider it a square body. I love it. It may be. I, I think we might get it back by then. I want to drive it then. I don't care. We're, yeah. we're driving it, Tim. I'm bringing that van. You ain't stopping me. They park you <laughs> over with the other GMs. Park me wherever you want, but if that baby's done, there ain't no way I'm not bringing her out. No way. No. It's happening. We love that Beauville. It's Bald been... eagles and burnouts. Hell yeah. That's what we're going to have. <laughs> uh, what else, what else we got? I don't know. Uh, Thank you so much to Ken from Bad Apple Orchards for reaching out and showing me so much support. You guys see me wear his shirt a lot. I don't know if you know uh, who he is, but they're a great group of people. They do a lot of good stuff for the community down in Florida. We met them at Iron Horse last year um, at the when we went down for the, um, oh, what was it? Bad turkey Apple ride. Bash. Well, we, he was there for the turkey run, and we had a better time at their show. His show was the Bad Apple Bash, and we have every intention of going back again this year, and he was talking to me yesterday about some things, and uh, he's going to have us up on stage and doing some filming so you guys can see that. I didn't tell Tim that yet, so we got a lot of cool stuff happening. Thank you, kid. I don't know what's going on from day to day. <laughs> he has no idea what I'm doing all the time. <laughs> every day, every day, when you start believing in yourself and taking the right path, Every day is a Saturday. Yeah. I don't even know. I don't even care. I wake up on Monday and I think it's Saturday. Yeah. That's how we're spending our Friday morning. So yeah. we're going to wrap it up. I think we covered everything. Did we cover everything? Don't call Miller's campground. Thank you so much. <laughs> we're going to leave you on that one. Thank you guys for watching. Make also, sure. also, if we're filming a live, don't call me. Because oh, yeah. how am I going to answer a phone that we're filming with? Yeah, so that's I. True. That's a weird thing. Just things. Just you things know. we got to work out. Yeah, that's all right. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and tell all your friends about us. We appreciate you guys. We love you. And we'll see you at the next show in Cave City. Square bodies for life. <laughs> that's what's happening around here.